We're here today to show you our complete cricket breeding guide, which is the world's most comprehensive book on the topic. And um, we're going to step through it all, show you the different components, how it works, show you the videos, just to give you a quick overview of our experience. Uh, we've been breeding uh, crickets, mealworms, cockroaches, and giant mealworms for 14 years. Uh, we've been selling to zoos, wildlife rescue, and pet stores. And uh, we started out as a hobbyist um, for wildlife rescue, just um, for our own animals. And we've quickly progressed to commercial uh, as more and more people came to me for, for insect supplies. Uh, we developed our own proprietary systems uh, in crickets, which have really revolutionized how crickets are, are produced on a small scale. Uh, we've streamlined commercial processes um, and uh, we now have partnerships right around the world and we do consultancy. Anyway, that's the quick summary of, of us. So I've just uh, logged in um, to my site and I've got all my different products here. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch here. I've got uh, the complete cricket breeding manual, complete cockroach breeding manual, mealworm manual, uh, pest book for mealworms, etc. And um, we even got a sustainable stock and feed section. But uh, today we're looking at the complete cricket breeding manual. And uh, there we are. And basically there are a couple of sections. We've got a video section up here, which um, we'll go through shortly. Uh, and then we've got section one, which is getting started. So everything you need to know about getting started, uh, a bit about us. And then we've got um, chapter one, which is what cricket breeding system do we use, the benefits and the conversions. Um, we've got a biology section, so species anatomy and, and botany. And that just gets you started. And then you get into the main techniques. Uh, we've got a general techniques. So this is for... Uh, for both methods, we've got two methods, a, a large scale commercial and a smaller scale. Um, and so you can see it's quite comprehensive. We've got quite a lot of uh, different sections uh, just in contained zones. Um, and we'll go through uh, that section in a second. And, uh, and for instance, food and water dispense uh, requirements. So we've got food and water containers, dry food, wet food, dusting, uh, how to feed to your animals. Uh, and then for making food and water dispensers, we've got you know a lot of detail here as well. Uh, so there's, there's quite a lot um, in each section and a bit too much to actually go through per se. I'm just going to click on them. You know, this is the commercial section, packaging and transport, etc. And then we actually get into the small scale cricket breeding, uh, which is here. Uh, it's got how to make it, um, the management, the cleaning and the maintenance. And then we've got the large scale system same thing how to manage it the pests etc um and and then we've even got a, a general section here as well so we can't go through everything so i thought we might just go through one section and a good one here is container design and construction um here it is so this section steps through everything uh we've got choosing container what you know the things you need to consider the lids the different types of lid systems uh, the ventilation, how to get the right uh, proportion of ventilation and the right um, orientation of your carton so you get good ventilation, etc. Very critical, as a matter of fact. Uh, feeding port, um, how to sing feed without opening up the containers. Uh, we've got our own uh, micro flies um, mesh system which uh, prevents pests, which if you don't have that, uh, you'll probably consume all your, your crickets, etc. So it's quite detailed and then it's actually how to build it. So we've got tables and charts. And it goes through and each section step by step uh, gives you instructions and tips. Uh, even gives you, you know, like it outlines what surface area you need, uh, the distances, etc. Very detailed. And just um, and you wouldn't need to even uh, read this. You can pretty much just follow it by, by the photos and, and the videos. So that's container design and construction. Uh, the other one I wanted to show you, I mean, there's too many to go through, but one I wanted to show you was... Uh, in the commercial section, uh, we've got pest, uh, pest management, uh, which is quite critical. Um, so section 10.5 um, talks about microflies. And as you can see, there's a lot of details. I've got to zip through to 10.5, 10.3, uh, 4, 5. So there's a range of pests that um, can really affect or destroy your colonies, and it's quite critical. Um, and this section goes through it. Uh, the main one I wanted to show you though, I mean, we cover a whole range of things from ants to flies um, to mites to, uh, to microflies, but the microfly one I want to really show you, 
Uh, these are little tiny vinegar flies that lay eggs, and then they or they have little egg um, eggs on the edge or on the side, which you can see there. And then they hatch into uh, little maggots, which look like a mold. Very critical, but we go through how to manage it and what to look out for and go through that whole process. So in the video section, uh, we've got two sections at the moment. We're going to add a lot more. Uh, we've got general techniques. So we've got a video on heating, on how to build a food and water dispenser. And then in our uh, breeding section, we've got our Zega substrate system. And this is our system that uh, is our proprietary method and uh, reduces a lot of maintenance. Uh, overcomes all of the issues that people have in terms of maintaining the right humidity and the right temperatures and the right moisture levels uh, and all that rotating. So it gets around all of that. And um, But you've got the materials, how to build it. Uh, we've got um, how to make it, how to set it up uh, and choosing the substrate. And just to give you an example, we can just have a look. Um, And the materials that you need to build a Sega substrate system. All these materials can either be purchased at a hardware store or a shopping center. Okay, so so that's pretty much all you need. So we've got vinyl, we've got a tray and, and a few bamboo sticks and a few things. And it, um, it all comes together into a system that's um, very, very effective and been working for 14 years. And so that's the cricket breeding manual. As you can see, it's quite comprehensive. You've got your videos, you've got your general techniques, small scale breeding, large scale, pretty much covers it all uh, with hundreds of photos. The videos are really useful and diagrams. Uh, it is the most comprehensive on the market. Uh, and we're just gonna pe keep adding to it. It's just gonna get better and better. And uh, you only pay for the book once off. It, it's not a subscription, and, um, the, but the content is continuously updated. Uh, so if you are interested uh, in purchasing it, just uh, grab it on the link that you, you came through on this video. And uh, literally it should save you years and years of um, trial and error and sweat, blood and tears.